According to a research paper, published recently in the Journal of Ethnobiology, several Australian birds of prey have the habit of starting wildfires, for the sole purpose of flushing out prey from the blazing grasslands. Interestingly, Aboriginals have known all about this for over 40,000 years, and even have a name for the fire-wielding birds, firehawks. Australia's dry climate makes it prone to wildfires, lightnings and human activities are considered the main causes, but according to a recently published research paper, birds may sometimes have a part to play as well. Raptors like the black kite, Milvus migrans, whistling kite, Haliastius fenurus, and the brown falcon, Falco birigora, can allegedly start fires in the continent's 730,000 square miles of savanna, by dropping burning sticks in the dry grass to flush out prey like insects, reptiles and small mammals. What's even more remarkable is that they seem to be doing it on purpose. Ornithologists have long known that birds of prey thrive in wildfire-prone regions. As small birds, lizards and insects emerge from the grasslands, in their flight from the approaching blaze, birds of prey just swoop in and feast on them. What they didn't know, however, is that the raptors can apparently cause the fire, or spread them to other areas to bring their prey out of hiding. Black kites and brown falcons come to these fronts, because it is just literally a killing frenzy. Australian ornithologist and, co-author of the recent research paper, Bob Gosford, said in an interview last year, it's a feeding frenzy, because out of these grasslands come small birds, lizards, insects, everything fleeing the front of the fire. Gosford became intrigued about the firehawk's behavior after a reading a passage from the 1964 book, I, the Aboriginal, an autobiography, of Wipledonia, Philip Roberts. I have seen a hawk pick up a smoldering stick in its claws and drop it in a fresh patch of dry grass half a mile away, then wait with its mates, for the mad exodus of scorched, and frightened rodents and reptiles. When the terrier was burnt out, the process was repeated elsewhere. And while the Australian ornithologist has yet to witness this behavior firsthand, some of the co-authors of the paper already have. Dick Husson, a veteran firefighter in the Northern Territory, recounts the events of a day he spent putting out fires in the deep outback. Just when he thought he and his colleagues had the fire beat, he saw a whistling kite carrying a burning twig, in its talons, and dropping it in the grass, twenty meters ahead of him. That started another blaze. Usen writes, that that day he had to put out seven other flare-ups, all caused by the raptors and their burning twigs. We're not discovering anything, co-author Mark Bonter, a geographer at Penn State University, told National Geographic, most of the data that we've worked with, is collaborative with Aboriginal peoples, they've known this for probably 40,000 years or more. Although many scientists and Aboriginal people have observed the behavior firsthand, and they hope to document the behavior in the field later this year, by studying a series of controlled burns administered by firefighters. That's it for this video, if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe to our channel, also check out these other exciting videos, to feed your curiosity.